real brief video here today. Um, this is a project I'm working on, um, attempting to work on. This is a one string vaudeville fiddle. Uh, that's what they're called now. They used to be called Jap fiddles or Japanese fiddles before we became all politically correct. Um, but basically what it is is a one string bowed instrument and the name Jap fiddle or Japanese fiddle is because it slightly resembles some uh, Japanese instruments. So anyway, um, the box came from Walmart. Uh, I've got three boxes, various sizes for $9.99. Um, reinforced it. Um, put my traditional beer cap uh, ends on washers on it. Um, I did buy a really nice cigar box, but then my woodworking skills are pretty much crap. So I wanted to try it on this first and see how that goes before I wasted a $20 cigar box. The neck is made out of cherry. Uh, big mistake. I don't know if it's a, a quality of cherry or just the crap I got at Home Depot, but this stuff is very brittle and splits and cracks if you look at it wrong. Over here you see the parts I have so far. I have a tailpiece, which is basically a doorstop. I have two skulls, which are sound hole covers. Um, now CB Giddy does carry skulls I like better that are laser cut like this, but um, unfortunately they cost a little bit more and I'm on a very limited budget. The uh, next port came from CB Giddy. The corners came from CB Giddy. The tuner was just one I had in the house, just a cheap one. So anyway, that is what I have so far. And I still have to come up with a tailpiece, a nut, and a bridge. So uh, like I said, if this works out, I may do a nicer one with the cigar box. But I just couldn't bring myself to uh, wasting a $20 cigar box when I'm not sure whether this is going to turn out or not. Uh, the plans I got came off of Cigar Box Nation, and I very liberally uh, modified them, which is probably a huge mistake, but that's me. So, update on the vaudeville or Jap fiddle I'm working on. Um, the box, uh, the body part, is about 90% finished. I need to put the bridge and the tailpiece on. Um, right now, um, I have the corners the end peg, the sound hole covers, uh, bracing inside, and um, a coat of varnish on it. And uh, so pretty much 90% done as far as the, uh, the body goes. As for the neck, um, it's shaped to some degree um, and a coat of varnish on it. You know, it, it's good enough, and with the tools that I have, um, basically good enough is good enough. So, it, I finished, rounded the edges, uh, sanded it down, put a coat of varnish on it, did a cutout so that the um, tuning peg will fit, and did kind of a funky little end piece there. So, that's it for today, and I'll make another video once I get further along. Okay, well, it's done. Um, the box is uh, was finished before. I added a just a brass L bracket for the tailpiece. Uh, a piece of shell, I believe it was from a conch shell, um, for the bridge. And a cider bottle cap for the nut, at least for now. And then I took some Home Depot yardsticks to make the back. Um, it's kind of jagged. I left it sort of rustic looking. Not that it wasn't rustic looking enough as it was, but I just thought, you know, rather than have it perfectly finished, I'd leave it like this. And the string is an old cello string, which will probably have to be changed out. But for now it's done, and I just have to wait until it's time to give it as a gift. And since I do not play instruments worth a damn, um, that's it. Have a good day, and thanks for watching. Bye.